しれあ、あ、矢野浩二君あんた、今本気で打ち込もうとしてたろ彼女を離せ In the brutal world of Classroom of the Elite, Ayano Koji masterfully had to deal with the treacherous alliances and betrayals. Join us as we uncover the journey and tantalizing hints, pointing to an even more intense season 2. In the heart of Tokyo stands a beacon of brilliance, the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School. The school was designed by the government to polish the finest minds. Luckily, Ayano Koji was admitted to Class 1D and was ready to start his journey. With so much anticipation in the air, Sai Chabashira, their homeroom teacher, tells them about the intricacies of the unique point system. These aren't mere numbers, they're currency. As he was trying to get used to the school life, Ayano Koji's journey crosses paths with two individuals who couldn't be more different Kikyo Kushida, who exudes warmth and friendship, and the mysterious Suzune Horikita. Now he had to establish a connection between his new friends, so he arranges a meeting at a cafe. As time passes, a sense of complacency starts to loom over Class D. Consumed by their initial wealth, they indulge in celebration, completely unaware of the approaching storm. As the sun rises on May 1st, it brings with it a sudden realization of just how unpredictable their points can be. No more allowance. In the echoing words of Chabashira, merit is the game, and it seems Class D momentarily forgot how to play. Chabashira introduces the concept of a merit based hierarchy. In the world of Ayano Koji and his classmates, they start off in Class D but have the opportunity to move up to Class C. But failing an exam would result in expulsion. As the stakes became clear, they knew it was time to read. However, Sudo, Ike, and Yamauchi stand out as exceptions. Worried about the situation, Suzune asks Ayano Koji for help in getting the three of them to join her study group. Despite the combined efforts of Kushida and others, the endeavor is encountering obstacles, primarily because of Suzune's high standards. In an unexpected twist, Ayano Koji stumbles upon Suzune engaged in a heated argument with her forceful brother, Manabu. Manabu's curiosity is piqued by Ayano Koji's remarkable ability to consistently score 50 points on tests. After the chaos of midterm subsides, Class D's performance leaves many astonished as they achieve commendable ranks among the freshman class at school. Excitement fills the school as Class D eagerly reveals their exam scores. The room collectively breathes a sigh of relief, but Sudo's expression quickly turns somber. His academic future is teetering on the edge. As he falls agonizingly short by just one point, Ayano Koji and Chabashira find themselves in a quiet corner engaged in a deep and meaningful conversation. As they contemplate the concept of true equality, they come to a shared realization it is nothing more than just an illusion. In a high stakes situation, Ayano Koji and Suzune come together and combine their resources. They make some adjustments to Sudo's score, ensuring that he can maintain his position in Class D. As July begins, Class D finds themselves in a bit of a predicament. The distribution of their points has come to a stop due to a fight that broke out between Sudo and three basketball players from Class C. Although Sudo asserts that he acted in self defense, his reputation, which has been marred, casts suspicion on him as the primary suspect. If a witness doesn't come forward to vouch for Sudo's innocence, the upcoming hearing might result in Class D losing their monthly points. With cunning precision, the trio from Class C manages to ensnare Kakeru Ryuen, devising a plan to further obscure the truth. With the help of Class B, Class D diligently searches for any potential witnesses, relying on posted messages as a guiding light. Suzune is the one who notices something promising a potential lead named Airi Sakura. It seems that Airi might have captured the incident on her camera. When they finally confront Sakura for evidence, their musings take on a more tangible form. However, fate takes a cruel turn as Sakura overwhelms. By anxiety, accidentally drops the camera. She's overcome with panic as she realizes that she may have destroyed crucial evidence. This sudden realization pushes her to flee, desperate to avoid any connection to the impending trouble.
When Sakura hesitates to share her contact details, Ayano Koji steps in and assures her that it's covered under warranty. As he looks deeper into her world, he begins to uncover the truth about her secret life as a rising star in the world of internet modeling. While in the school's courtroom, everyone was filled with tension. Manabu presides over the hearing concerning the pseudo altercation. The classes are embroiled in a heated dispute, with accusations being hurled back and forth. Initially, the majority of people seem to be leaning towards blaming Class C. Suzune remains silent until Ayana Koji nudges her, prompting her to rise and challenge the narrative. Can Sudo really cause such serious injuries all by herself in a fight against free opponents? The way she describes it, it seems quite intense. Sakura entered the scene, her camera unknowingly capturing the backdrop of a fight while she was shooting. However, the evidence presents a complex situation as it only confirms Sakura's presence without necessarily proving Sudo's innocence. The homeroom teacher of Class C, Sakagami, proposes a compromise. Sudo should be suspended for two weeks, while each of the three Class C students should be suspended for one week. The Class D population experiences a decline, confronted with obvious falsehoods. Manabu decides to take a break, suggesting that a final decision will be made unless there are confessions or new evidence that come to light. He adds a chilling reminder, emphasizing his authority to expel any student. Sakura finds herself in the unsettling stillness of the dormitory when she unexpectedly comes across her photos neatly arranged inside her mailbox. This left her with a sense of intrigue and mystery. Ayano Koji and Suzune take advantage of the perfect timing provided by the crucial photo to carefully set up a trap at a strategic stairwell. Kushida cleverly deceives the free Class C culprits by using a decoy message to lure them into a trap. Honami Ichinose's decision to install security cameras proves to be a wise move, as it allows the duo to effectively convince the Class C students about the dangerous consequences of their dishonest actions. Feeling trapped, they reluctantly give in and withdraw their complaint. Chabashira's enigmatic words to Suzune suggest that there are hidden truths beneath the surface. She holds the belief that Class D is home to individuals who are considered defective, and in her perspective, Ayano Koji perfectly fits that description. Despite Manabu's efforts to persuade Ayano Koji to join the student council, he politely declines and instead suggests that the recognition should go to Suzune. Ayano Koji and Suzune have an unwavering ambition to elevate their peers to Class A. Their determination knows no bounds as they strive to achieve this goal. Ayano Koji, Sudo, Ike, Yamauchi, and the mastermind behind the operation, Hideo Sotomura, conspire to devise a mischievous scheme, one that involves discreetly recording the girls in the changing room. Sotomura carefully watches over everything from a hidden spot, using transceivers and subtle hand signs to coordinate. The plan begins as Yamauchi, dressed as a caretaker, discreetly enters the women's area to install the cameras. However, things get complicated when Ike also enters the scene and the intimidating Ryuen and his fellow Class C members make their way towards the changing room. In a desperate attempt to gain some extra time, Sudo decides to confront Ryuen, which ultimately leads to a tense and escalating confrontation with the students from Class A. In the midst of all the chaos, Manabu makes sure to remind everyone about their ongoing evaluation, even when they're not in class. As the events unfold, Suzune gracefully makes her way up the diving platform, instantly capturing the attention of everyone around. With confidence in her voice, she boldly declares that Class D is on the path to ascend to Class A. This diversion helps Ike make a discreet exit. With subtle finesse, Suzune skillfully sabotages the scheme, leaving no trace of evidence behind. As the first-year students embark on a lavish cruise trip, Ayano Koji learns from Chabashira about the mysterious call demanding that he gets expelled from the school. Although she offers protection, proposing a deal to reach Class A, he suspects ulterior motives and declines. In a whispered exchange, she shares with Suzune his theory about the trip's true intent, a school-owned island's boarding house and not mere leisure. Sakura extends an invitation to Ayano Koji for a date, but when they finally meet, she hesitates, creating an unexpected twist. Kushida notices their awkward encounter, which makes Sakura quickly leave. 
As Ayano Koji finds himself cornered, Kushida's anger begins to surface, exposing her dual nature. She acknowledges that she can sense Ayano Koji's guardedness towards her, and he agrees with her observation. In a delightful turn of events, the ever-cheerful Kushida makes her reappearance, bravely opening up about her deep-seated fear of being alone. The true purpose of the voyage is revealed the next day, a week-long survival challenge on a deserted island. In a briefing, Yosuke Hirata details the survival test from a manual. 300 test points are allotted for food and amenities, with leftover points exchangeable for class points. Violations like pollution, injuries, or violence result in deductions. While Class D decides to conserve points, a debate emerges over the need for a portable toilet. Splitting up to scout camping locations, Ayano Koji teams up with Sakura and Rokosuke Koenji. They remember Chabashira's words about possessing spots. Only class leaders can claim them for 8 hours to earn a special point. Additionally, a risk of 50 points lets a class guess an opposing leader. While searching, Ayano Koji spots Kohei Katsuragi, a potential leader, in conversation with Yahiro Totsuka. Class D regroups, choosing a riverside campsite. Suzune is selected leader for her blend of capability and inconspicuousness. While collecting firewood, Ayano Koji, Yamauchi, and Sakura stumble upon an injured Mio. Kushida offers her some fruit they'd gathered. Strategizing, the class decides to spend a maximum of 180 points in essentials. Unexpectedly, Koenji departs from the group, feigning sickness, resulting in a 30-point deduction for Class D. Ayano Koji and Suzune scout other camps. Class B's well-located camp is near a waterfall and mirrors Class D's setup. Class A's cave camp is fortified. Suzune's attempt to sneak a look is thwarted by Katsuragi, who warns of potential conflict. At Class C's beach camp, Ryuen has spent all points, turning the test into a holiday, exploiting the rule that they won't be penalized for exhausting points. Under the cover of darkness, a cunning thief manages to steal a phone from the girl's tent belongings to Class D. On the fourth day, the Class D individuals are in search of class leaders. When Ayano Koji and Sakura pay a visit to Class C, they discover that Mio is the only one left in the test. On the fifth day, a dramatic incident unfolded as Kei Karuizawa discovered that her pants had mysteriously gone missing. The bag search reveals that it was found in Ike's bag. Even though a pat-down was requested, it disappears once more. Hirata discovers Ayano Koji had it, and to shield Ayano Koji, and because Kei is his girlfriend, takes the blame to minimize damage to his own reputation. Trust in Class C wanes after the theft, leading the girls to form a separate camp from the boys. Mio probes Ayano Koji for his take on the culprit, and he confides that Sudo suspects her, though he trusts her. Ayano Koji was able to figure out that Suzune was actually sick, even though she had been hiding it and using the cruise as a way to recover. Adding to the chaos, the survival test manual is set on fire, exacerbating trust issues. Believing Mio, possibly an imposter from another class, is responsible, Suzune's attempt to retrieve her keycard from Mio goes unnoticed. Mio then delivers the card to an unidentified student. In an unexpected twist, Mio relays through ham radio to Katsuragi that she's in possession of Suzune's card, revealing a covert alliance between Class A and Class C. With Suzune injured, she's out of the test. On the last day, after camp disassembling, the class predicted the leaders. In a revealing assembly, Ryuen unveils his deal with Katsuragi, a 200-point exchange to Class A for the card or photo. Class D triumphs with 225 points. Class B follows with 140. Class A secures 120, leaving Class C scoreless. At the end, a lot of things happen and Ayano Koji vows defiance against his father's designs. He leverages Hirata's reputation for Class D's benefit. It, yet his perception of classmates as mere pawns hints at a darker plot for season 2, with Ayano Koji ready to manipulate anyone to ensure his dominance. Although season 1 was full of a lot of dramas and suspense moments, season 2 is even the biggest bomb. If you would like to catch on what happened in the season 2, then subscribe to this channel. Also, remember to like this video and turn on notifications so that you get notified when we upload other videos like this one.